a baby. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Dana channel. I am Dana and I'm back with another Star Wars, a solo story, solo, a Star Wars, Force Link, I don't even know anymore. This is a Force Link 2.0 set. This is Chewbacca Mimban and Han Solo Mimban set of action figures. And this thing looks really cool. Let's just jump on into this. All right, now let's take a look at the outside of the box. Of course, we have our yellow Solo looking Star Wars logo right there. We've got some cool artwork with Alden Ehrenreich. And a very creepy looking Chewbacca. Chewie looks really creepy there. I don't know what's up. Uh, inside the box, so you can see some unique sculpts there. Looking really cool. I like what I see. Covered in mud. Almost looks like there's an X on Chewie's chest made in mud. That's interesting. Uh, we do get a weird accessory. One of these weird gun emplacements that I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, it does say Chewbacca Mimban. Han Solo Mimban. This is different from his other Mimban that comes in the... Uh, Trooper set, but let's take a look at the back of the box. Again, we have Star Wars, we have Force Link 2.0, little thing telling you how to use the Force Link, how to activate it. There you go, wear it, put it on your wrist, you pick up the figure. Oh, look at that. Looks like there's a chain that does come on Chewie's leg. Uh, here's a kind of a shot of that gun emplacement weapon accessory. There you go, it's Han Solo. Is it? Is it? It is. Look at that right there, it is. Zero to three sad babies. Approve of this toy. I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, we have taken a look at the outside of the box. This means it's time to open it up. I don't have my Blade of Exact Zero on me, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, I'm going to ruin this packaging because that's what happens when you don't cut the tape. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, consider this thing just completely demolished. That's fine, though. I got this, I think. Maybe. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is why I always keep that thing handy. Uh, oh look, we have instructions. I don't think I ever see these instructions. Uh, they tell you how to assemble the little gun thing. Very nice, very nice. Can I pull this out? Thanks, you While it's still ruining everything, we're empty. There you go. All right, let's take them out of the package. Chewbacca. We got Han Solo. We got a little blaster rifle. I believe that goes to Han. <laughs> oh, so crunchy, so loud. Oh, so crunchy, so loud. I'm gonna keep that a little bit away from the mic. Sorry, headphone listeners. All right, let's do this. Let's put this thing together. I like that. You know, I like that they have chains on them already. That's that's kind of a cool touch. Can you chain them together? And movable the chains move, and the things around their legs move. And I'm impressed already. They're kind of like. My first thought is, well, we just had to paint them brown. They didn't have to do a whole lot. But it's like a nice gloss to it. I I, I like these. These are actually really cool. Uh, I wasn't super stoked on this set. In fact, I don't always love, actually I never love, when they include weapons that were not part of the film. That just bugs me. It like irks me in a special kind of way. And I just don't like accessories that weren't from the film. And while this does look like very much it fits in with what happened on Mimban, Mimban, it, uh, oh, this is very bent. These little holster things for the gun are very bent on my end. One of them's very bent, the other one's kind of loose. Uh, and the picture at the back of the box, I believe it had Chewbacca working this thing. But again, this was not in the movie. This was not, it's an accessory, it wasn't in the movie. But whatever. Oh, he doesn't even, like, stand with it well, because he's so tall. Alright, so maybe Chewbacca's not the best choice for this thing. I don't... I don't know. I mean, he's going to shoot the ground is what he's going to do. Han Solo looks good, though. Overall, I think Chewbacca looks really good. I like the mud painting that they did on him. He looks to be a new and unique sculpt. Uh, I believe we've got Chewie right up here. Oh, yeah, completely different sculpt. I can show you guys some close-ups here in just a sec so you can see the difference. Um, the fact that he's matted down and covered in mud, you can really see that he's got skinny legs, especially in comparison to the other Chewbacca from Solo. The one that came with the playset, which is the same sculpt as the other Chewbacca Force Link 2.0. Um, let's take a look closer at Han, though. I do actually really like this Han. He's got his Mimban armor on still, no helmet, but his hair is very slicked back and moist, like from the mud. Uh, and he does have this cool little anklet, like these little binders. Uh, they look very much like Star Wars handcuffs, like the binders they put on Chewie on the Death Star on A New Hope. And they have these little chains that rotate and can move. At first it was like tied to his leg, and I was like, what? But when I moved it, they actually do rotate around the ankle really nicely. And you can like lift them up, lift them down. That's, 
I like this. I, I need a Mimban playset, is what I need. I think the only thing that I'm missing from Mimban now... Uh, well, of course, the Trooper. There's like a whole set of Troopers from Target for like 45 bucks or $49 uh, that I probably will be picking up and reviewing. If that's something you want to see, let me know. If you want to see me get that like six Trooper pack and review it, let me know. Let me know. Because uh, I'll try to pick that up if you guys are into it. I like it. We get, I mean, they're normal articulation. These have been better than 5 POA lately. So we have head rotation, which Han is very loose. Uh, we have arms. We've got wrists. Any ankles here? No ankles, just legs. So we're looking at 5. That's a 7 POA on Han. As for Chewie, he's not going to have any wrist articulation. He almost never does. The head barely moves, but it does move, so he's just a straight up 5 POA. But the addition of the little ankle bracelet thing with the chain, does that count as extra articulation in your brain? Does that, does that count that way for you? Um, Han does come with a blaster pistol, and I don't, I don't know how... I mean, he didn't have one in that scene, right? I imagine when they thought he was a deserter, because Beckett told the, you know, the other admiral or whatever, or lieutenant, to go take him away. Uh, I believe they stripped him of his weapons, probably his helmet, and threw him in with the beast. Which was, it's kind of cool. Now we have the action figures of when Han and Chewie actually first met. Though I didn't love that scene initially, it's kind of grown on me since the movie's come out. And I'm, I'm okay with it now, I'm okay with it. Um, again, I don't love it. I kind of thought it might be a little different. But, like I said, I'm alright with it. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is this blaster gun thing, this little turret. While it's cool because it helps kind of build your world if you're building a diorama or just want to play with your toys, I don't, I just don't love these unnecessary like things. The other set with Rebolt and the Krellian Hound, it comes with a cage that was actually in the movie. Like, that's cool. And this might have been even in the background. There were a lot of things like the big walking, um, there's another toy from Minban that's, that's come out. It's like a big walking like gun emplacement thing. It looks very similar to this, but big, almost like an ATST with a gun emplacement on it. And that's actually from the movie, though they're not really prominent. It definitely does walk by. You see them in the film. Um, this, on the other hand, I don't really recall anything like this. But again, I more listened to the movie lately than I have watched it. I put it on in the background, so maybe I just didn't see it. No, oh, is this? Have you guys seen this in Solo? I didn't. I didn't. Overall, though, for 15 bucks, I think this is a really cool set. I like the unique Chewy. I like that he's muddy and he's got a cool, like, matted down fur. Han Solo looks good. I like he's muddy. He's got slick back hair. I don't think he needed that blaster pistol because it probably would have been taken away from him. And I like the fact that if you look close on the armor, you can see where there is mud and you can see where there isn't mud as far as how they painted it with the browns and grays. So it's not just some, like, blanket paint job. They're just like, no, just color it all gray. It's fine. Make the mold gray. It'll be, you know, mold the plastic and gray. Save money on paint. They actually did paint this, which is kind of a nice touch. They didn't really need to. They probably could have not and saved some money. Um, but fact is, they did paint it, and it, it shows. It shows that it makes it a better quality toy. But guys, that's, that's as far as the toys go. Let's take a nice listen to the Force Link. But before we do, check out this little mini movie. I've got to find a way out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got my force link ready to go. Let's see if this little gun emplacement does anything. Because previous accessories did with the other force link sets. This one absolutely does not. It's not doing anything. Like, you can... There's Chewy. Here's Hunt. Okay. You know, we already started with Chewy. Let's do it again. Okay. I like that it doesn't make blaster sounds. It makes like him smacking something. So you can really reenact that scene where he's like pushing stuff around and beating up Han, trying to set him free. That sounds unique. I'm gonna pick up the other two just for comparison. Okay, that's, that's that one again. This one is... <gasps> Definitely a different sound. I like a unique set of sounds for this Chewbacca. Now we'll get into Han Solo. Let's get this done. I'm on a schedule. I don't remember that from the film at all. I've got to find a way out of here. Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Sounds right. I've got to find a way out of here. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I've got to find a way out of here. Okay, and let's do some blaster sounds. He comes with a blaster, so it makes sense he has a blaster. I could use some backup. Come on, let's get out of here. I could use some backup. Come on, let's get out of here. I could use some backup. And those are his sounds. Very nice. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's, uh... I've got to find a way out of here. Solo. It's the other solo. Oh, you've got to be Let's kidding. get this done. I'm on a schedule. Very interesting. Guys, what do you think of these sounds? I've got to find a way out of here. Okay, enough, enough, enough. You've had enough. What do you guys think of these sounds? Do you like them? Do you think they're good? I think they're mediocre. They're okay. I like that we got unique Chewbacca sounds. The ones for uh, Han himself were kind of just whatever. I don't recall any of those really specifically from the film, but they could have been some of them. Some of them definitely were not. Um, which I don't love. I figure if you're gonna go all out with this thing, might as well use audio clips from the movie or something. I don't know, something. Something. It's, you guys have, you know, Lucasfilm, Hasbro probably has the access to it if they really wanted. I like having stuff from the film. That's just my opinion. I want to know yours. Is it a thumbs up set? Is it a thumbs down set? Personally, I say yeah. For 15 bucks, it's cool. Though I don't love the accessory, it does help with world building. I could probably like put it here in the diorama and it would just fit in just fine, even though it's not even Mimban. So, yeah, it's okay. I'll take it. 15 bucks, I'm happy with it. I like the chains, I like the look. I like that we have figures to commemorate that, that very important scene of Han and Chewie meeting for the first time. So for me, it gets a thumbs up. For 15 bucks, two figures, not a bad deal at all. Again, leave your thoughts down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Thumb up or thumb down the video. You can thumb down the video, but you gotta tell me why. Go in the comments. That's like the payment that I ask from you guys for watching these videos, for me going out and doing a lot of toy hunting, trying to find this stuff. I spend a lot of time doing that. And it's kind of nice when I hear from you, get your guys' opinions. That way the whole community, the sad baby squad, can kind of get feedback and be like, well, is it a worthwhile purchase? Because I have my opinions, but I'm sure you guys have yours, and I want to see them down in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned, the sad baby squad, those are my subscribers who have not only subscribe, but they've tickled that little notification bell. They use the force on it. That way they get notified every time I drop a brand new video and you guys don't miss a thing. I know YouTube's not the greatest about telling you, even if you have used the force on that bell. Still, you guys show up, you come here. Some of you are part of the uh, Discord chat. You follow me on Twitter or Instagram. If you guys want to put your own creations, your own pictures, your own projects in my videos, let me know. Use hashtag SadBabySquad or just at me, at Dano Flores, Instagram and Twitter. You can even follow me on Facebook. I got a Facebook page. I got a personal Facebook page, too, if you want to find that. Friend me. Why not? What else? It's all good. Guys, that's it. You know I love you. And until next time... May the force act with you. I'm good. Bye. Forever. Now, just because today's video's over doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Be sure to click on one of these videos or playlists and keep it going. I put out new videos every week. We've got Star Wars content, lightsabers, lots of dinosaurs on the way. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little notification bell. And if you can, share one of the vids. It's a great way to support the channel and it's much appreciated.